last time we were talking about the rough terrain. We were talking about how you can endure. There's a lot of fire, volcano stuff going on. But now we're going to Planet Nautica. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can tell that's water. Clocks are going crazy, system overloading. Apparently something wrong happened. Something like that. When you're in intergalactic space, you just end up in certain dimensions and planets. Guess it just ended up in Nautica. But one thing I will like to say about it, though, is be water, my friend. And that sounds so like, I don't know, just like a simple concept or even just like an overcomplicated concept that just seems not useful in real life. But... The thing about water is there's no good or bad when it comes to it. When it comes to water being inside of a cup, you know what I'm saying? Being inside of a tub, being inside of a cloud, inside of your body. It's not good or bad that it is. And there goes my way out. So I think that's what the storyline is about. So my way out got crashed, but as long as I'm water, right, I can form to the situation and things will turn out fine. Sometimes even better, better than you thought. But the thing about water is it's shapeless, it's formless, and it's not necessarily about enduring but it's more so about shaping. Um, not only that, you know what I'm saying? Water, water is just a metaphor, you feel me? Water is just the ether in front of you, really. A 3D version. Now, I don't wanna really lose you because I'm trying to keep this practical as possible. But at the same time, there is no difference between this water and this air. There are cars that can pull in air and turn it into water. Water and air are not separate. It's just different densities of water. You get what I'm saying? But it's all one thing, even though it looks separate, literally. It looks like water and air. <laughs> but it's literally the same thing because water comes from clouds clouds are air you know what I'm saying so like it's more so of like the J. Cole line I don't know if you ever heard it uh, the, the, the guest verse with uh, Benny the Butcher when he says you see a glass half empty I see a glass full of ether usually the saying is about water you see the, you know, the glass half empty or half full. What he's saying is, you see a glass that is half empty of water, but I see ether where that air is. That you see that is empty, it's not. There's ether there. Now, how do you practically apply that to your life? How do you, how do you practically apply the fact that air and water might be the same and you know it's all just a metaphor of the ether that you're in you know what i'm saying you're just in a ether of quote unquote water but really you're just in ether pretty much what is ether ether is the fourth dimensional glue that holds everything together Things that can create that substance that can boost me up to this height right here. 
yet. Ether. But what do you do with it? What do you do with ether in real life? It's a good question. You have to think about it more so of in terms of just being a space. So it's hard to think about because everything is around us. So it's hard to just think that everything around you is creatively empty. What I mean by that is think about the Spongebob episode where they got out of the elevator or crashed out of the elevator or whatever. And it was just a white blank space. And when they said alone, they like amplified times 10. It was like alone, 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 alone. You know what I'm saying? Like, because the ether around you is creating what you're creating. You are the tool, the the main drive, the engine of the ether of what you create around you. There's a lot of other things like Chalk Zone, that cartoon, if you're old enough to know about that. Uh, if you're young enough, I guess, to know about this is cartoon Pokio, you know what I'm saying? That's like for the really young kids, like toddlers, but it's another situation where a cartoon is just in a blank white space and then creates and that is exactly what we're in but it's just hard to tell because there's so many 3d things that we see that it's hard to see the ether that right there was not the destination i was supposed to go the destination i'm supposed to be getting off the planet not again what i just saw right there was a power level increase of ether how did I get there? I created it. <laughs> Basically, doing the necessary steps to get high enough. I mean, it sounds like a metaphor, really. Doing the necessary steps to get high enough to reach the ether to increase my power level in order to get to my destination a little quicker. It's all in being water. You know what I'm saying? It's not necessarily I need to get to my destination and then it crashes and now I'm distraught. It's more so I ended up finding land, finding ether, and then finding a way out. And now I'm more powerful than if I had just gone to that first exit. no such thing as a derailing plan. This plan is never derailed. Everything is happening the way it is meant to. And if you stay in the ether, in the white blank space, I'm sure you'll be fine. See y'all next time.